Hey, it's Dale Shin, local realtor in the LA area, coming to you with a new version of one of my most popular videos from last year, which is the most affordable homes in the San Fernando Valley, San Fernando Valley of Los Angeles. So let's take a look. So last year when I made the video in December 2019, I used the figures that were available at that time, which were for October 2019. It takes a little over a month for this data to get processed by the California Association of Realtors. We'll go to their website and look at the stats. So at the Industry 360 tab, there is data and statistics, current sales and price statistics. They've got a presentation you could go through, it's 50 pages. Uh, it's, although it's December 15th, the, the figures are for October. They, they don't quite have the November figures ready yet. It takes some time to crunch all those numbers for the entire state, so that's why it takes some time. Anyways, here we are with a breakdown by region in the state uh, for median prices of October compared to the month before and last year. So last year you'll see it was 545000 for the LA metropolitan area. As of October, it's six hundred thirty-two thousand seven hundred ten dollars. It's about a sixteen percent increase. And if you continue down, you'll see other areas. Then you'll go up to the Bay Area, and by county, they'll break it down. And then you got Southern California, Central Coast, Central Valley, and so forth. These are broken down by county. So LA, you'll see actually for the entire county, the median price is seven hundred twenty thousand one hundred sixty dollars. That's a twelve percent increase over last year and Orange County is even more expensive, Riverside a little bit cheaper, San Bernardino even cheaper at 365, San Diego and Ventura comparable or higher actually than LA County. So for this period $632,710. There's another tab I want to show you back in the Industry 360 tab if you go one step down to Housing Affordability Index, you click on that uh, again, at the top is a short presentation. If you scroll down, it will show you the affordability index, which shows what percent of people can afford a median-priced home. So here, the number is a little bit different. For LA metropolitan area, they show median home price of six hundred ten thousand dollars, of which you'll need a monthly home payment, including tax and insurance, about twenty eight hundred dollars, and you'll need an income of one hundred twelve thousand dollars to qualify for a loan. Uh, with a $2,800 monthly payment. So that can vary, of course, according to your credit and what kind of interest rate you can qualify for. Obviously, the better credit you have, the better rates you're going to get, meaning lower interest rates, and that could lower your payment, or you could afford more of a home. And also, it depends on how much of uh, down payment you have, so that that'll, the more you can put down, the smaller your loan will be, and so on and so forth. So in LA metropolitan area for third quarter 2020, 31% can afford a median priced home at $610,000. So that's not too bad, I guess. Um, you know, 31%, that's, uh, well, it is what it is. Let's see then what can you afford with a home at, let's say $610,000, even though the median on the previous page was 632,000. Let's use 610 and see what can you buy for $610,000 in the San Fernando Valley area. So we'll go to the MLS. I'll log in here. This, by the way, is a tool for realtors. You have to be a licensed realtor. You gotta pay all these dues and then you can get access to this. Uh, for most of you, you'll probably use Zillow or Redfin, Trulia, Realtor.com all decent sources of information. Here we go. So I already, already searched up prices for homes in the $610,000 area. We'll do a three bedroom, two bath home. Just kind of keep it conventional. So let's draw a real quick and dirty map of the San Fernando Valley area. I'll go over here. Last time I did not include this area, San Fernando and so forth. I'm not going to include Burbank just because it's, uh, it's a little bit different area, but I'm going to cut across here just south or just uh, south of the boulevard, include Calabasas, and there we go. So 
for 610,000 there are 14 available homes as of December 15th and let's look at it by a list so of these 14 homes we're not going to look at all of them let's just look at the cheapest somewhere in the middle and the top so let's look at the cheapest first 430,000 in Pacoima on Delser Street 13991 Delser where is this roughly it's just north of the 118 near the 5 um, it's on off of Haddon Street and Paxton Paxton and perhaps Laurel Canyon is the nearest major cross street really close to a park I mean right next door basically across the street from it let's see here so only one picture of the front of the house it doesn't look too bad in terms of the grass it looks like it's maintained somewhat regularly it's too bad it's only one home I mean one photo let's see it's tenant occupied cash offer only um, Okay, great three plus two home located on wonderful tree line street features include open floor plan with living room, dining room, new garage door, and new sliding glass door. Tons of potential. That's code word for it. it needs some work. Conveniently located only minutes to major highways, shopping malls, restaurant, and Costco. Yes, there is a Costco right off Paxton there. Um, this is, as far as I could tell, a normal sale although it is tenant occupied so that may cause some complications in terms of getting in there to look at it uh, it was in escrow it fell off or fell out and is back on the market so it was under contract some complications came up and the original buyer could not complete the sale so 430 that is the cheapest let's look at now let's go to the other extreme look at the most expensive then we'll look at something in the middle here we are in Panorama City. This is uh, $610,000, 1,248 square foot, 5,900 square foot lot, just south of Nordoff, near Nordoff and Van Nuys. This actually, I know this area. I used to manage a shopping center nearby and pretty convenient. It's right next to a Walmart neighborhood market, grocery store, and other convenient shops it's on a street like this so it's quite area i know this area so not bad let's look at the pictures okay so it's a traditional ranch style home with some wood shingles in the front the grass yard looks pretty well maintained as well as the other landscaped areas you've got an overhang for the front door steps leading up to it here's the interior i guess right when you come in uh, looks like some laminate flooring, wood paneling on the walls, uh, very clean looking. That looks like a huge slider to the back. And well, yeah, it looks pretty nice. Here's the dining area. It looks like the kitchen has been updated. Another shot of the living room into the dining area and kitchen. Here's the kitchen. Yes, this has been completely redone. New cabinets new floor, new counters, new backsplash, appliances and yeah it looks nice there's a little room for your breakfast area here is a bedroom looks like it's got newer windows it's got the same laminate flooring here's what looks like could be original to the house darker wood trim a decorative curved um, I don't know what that's called. Here's another bedroom. The windows definitely look newer. Bathroom definitely looks original to the home, as does this one, although the shower door looks new. Laundry room, recessed lighting, new tile floor. This must be the backyard. Looks like there's a pool, yes. And yeah, nice, cute little kidney pool. That must be the garage, detached. And it looks like access to the garage is off an alley on the other side of the house so I always like that when there's the house has two ways to access it the front and the back alley this one has overhead view there's the attached garage and there you have it so this is a 1953 construction home so the bed the bathrooms uh, are probably from that era 
So what is in between? 430 to 610, somewhere around $500,000. Let's look at this one for 510, which had a price, 515 for a price increase. This is in Pacoima. Pacoima, this house is located uh, just near the San Fernando Valley Boulevard, San Fernando Road in Van Nuys Boulevard, south of the 110 freeway. Let's take a look at some photos. This is a 1957 construction. Looks like it's been recently redone. The front looks like it's been repaved with concrete. Uh, looks freshly painted. It's got a gate. So I don't know if there's a garage. Uh, looks like some newer flooring. Flooring, the laminate flooring these days looks so good. It looks like it's real wood. Uh, and sometimes they're made of vinyl, so it's very convenient and uh, low cost, low maintenance. This is 1,100 square foot house. Nice curved archway, probably into the kitchen area. It looks like it's got a fireplace with a nice mantle. Um, here's the kitchen, new appliances, new granite countertop, new cabinets, nice sink, lavatory. Here's the hallway to the bedrooms. Here's one of the bedrooms. That must be another bedroom and the third bedroom. Here's the bath, looks like it's been updated. Yeah, it looks like, uh, well, the tub, I don't know, it's got that step here, so it makes me think it's original or a vintage tub. Here's the backyard, it looks like there's a garden area here, fence to keep the critters out. You've got a clothesline, great. Backyard needs some work. Looks like they concentrate on the front yard. There is the laundry area in your water heater in this galvanized steel cabinet. And there you are. So for five hundred, <coughs> excuse me, five hundred fifteen thousand, you can get a three bedroom, two bath house, eleven hundred square feet, on a three thousand five hundred fifty square foot lot. Pretty small. So there you have it. The medium priced home uh, is about six hundred ten, six hundred thirty two thousand in Los Angeles, and in the San Fernando Valley, you can pick up any of those houses at about that price range or less. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. I'll try to get back to you. Uh, if you found this information helpful, please click like. It'll help the channel. And subscribe if you're interested in more information about Los Angeles. Have a good one.